हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल स्टेपिंग स्टोन ट्यूटोरियल सो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम बैक विद अनदर ब्रांड न्यू चैप्टर लाइट ऑफ क्लास 10 फिजिक्स सो हियर आर द टॉपिक्स दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो एंड द सब्सिक्वेंट वीडियोस दैट विल फॉलो इंट्रोडक्शन देन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट स्फेरिकल मिरर्स रे डायग्राम्स इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय कंकेव एंड कन्वेक्स मिरर्स रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट lenses image formation by concave and convex lenses lens formula and power of lens you have already learned about the basics of light in your 8th standard science so uh, by now you all know that light is a form of energy right it helps us to see the beautiful and amazing things around us light enables us to see objects from which it comes or from which it is if reflected uh, for example uh, we can see the sun because the light is coming from the sun and it enters our eyes similarly you can see the uh, torch or the candle um, or other stars because they emit their own light and th those light comes directly to your eyes and you can see the those objects so this sort of objects which emit their own light are called luminous objects now you can also uh, like in this diagram uh, the girl is able to see the tree how from the sun sun rays uh, uh, light is coming and striking the tree and then uh, light gets reflected from the tree and it enters the eye of the uh, eyes of it strikes the eyes of the girl and the girl is able to see the light so such objects uh, like the tree the table chair all these do not uh, emit their own light but we are able to see them when uh, light from any source of light falls on them and get reflected so such objects are called non luminous object so we have learned that we can see the non luminous objects because they reflect light falling on them into our eyes now what is reflection of light the process of sending back the light rays which fall on the surface of an object is called reflection of light remember that objects having polished shining surfaces reflect more light than objects having unpolished and dull surfaces so here in this diagram you can see uh, the phenomenon of reflection of light from a plane mirror the ray of light which falls on the mirror surface is called the incident ray so this is your incident ray okay the point at which the incident ray falls on the mirror is called the point of incidence here in this diagram um just a minute m is your point of incidence okay <coughs> and uh what is the reflected ray the ray of light which is sent back by the mirror is called the reflected ray now uh the reflection of light from a plane surface or from a spherical surface takes place according to two laws which are known as the laws of reflection so already i think you all most of you all know the law, two laws of reflection uh you have studied in your 8th standard science but let us revise again the first law is the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal they all lie on the same plane that means neither of them are coming out of the paper nor uh, any one of them is going down into the paper they all should lie on the same plane second law of reflection states that the angle of incidence that is angle i is equal to the angle of reflection so far we have discussed the reflection of light from plane surfaces like that of a plane mirror we will now describe the spherical mirrors which can converge or diverge the parallel rays of light which falls on them now what is a spherical mirror it is that mirror whose reflecting surface is a part of a hollow sphere okay now there are two types of spherical mirrors what are they concave mirror and con convex mirror now first uh, the concave mirror 
you can see it in the first diagram a concave mirror is that spherical mirror in which the reflection of light takes place at the concave surface or bent in surface so reflection takes place at the bent in surface or concave surface suppose we uh, concave mirror we cut it from a hollow sphere now the back portion uh, will be silver coated or protected by paint and your inner surface will be your reflecting surface so ray of light will fall here okay so in concave mirror the bent in surface is your reflecting surface what is a convex mirror here it is shown a convex mirror is that spherical mirror in which reflection of light takes place at the convex surface or bulging out surface so inside we silver coat or protect with paint and your reflecting surface is this the bulging out surface this surface So you have learned that a spherical mirror can converge or diverge the parallel rays of light which falls on them. So remember that concave mirror usually converges a beam of uh, parallel rays of light that falls on them. So here you can see in case of a concave mirror this incident parallel uh, rays of light after striking the mirror they reflect uh, uh, back and they come closer the reflected uh, rays of light come closer and meet at a point. Uh, this coming closer or coming uh, closer together uh, is called converging and in case of convex mirror you can see that uh, the parallel re incident rays of light after striking the mirror they spread out they move away isn't it so this moving away or um, spreading out is called diverging so remember that convex mirror usually diverges a beam of parallel rays of light Next is your principal focus. So it is a point on the principal axis to which all the incident light rays which, is, which are parallel to the axis converge or diverge after reflection. So in case of concave mirror, so the incident uh, rays of light, they after reflection, they come closer and they meet at a point. The reflected uh, rays of light meet at a point. This is your principal focus in case of your concave mirror in case of convex mirror the incident parallel rays of light they diverge after reflection right so um, if we uh, produce all the reflected rays backward they appear to meet, meet at a point f so you see if you bring bring uh, them backward they uh, appear to meet at a point f this is your virtual focus in case of your convex mirror now let us have uh, have a look at certain terminologies of spherical mirror the first is the center of curvature the center of curvature of a spherical mirror is the center of the hollow sphere of glass of which the mirror is a part here you can see the center of curvature for a concave mirror so this c is the center of the entire hollow sphere of uh, glass of which the concave mirror is a part next is the pole pole is the center of the mirror the center of the concave mirror or the center of the convex mirror so here you can see p pole which is the center of the concave mirror and here p is the center of the convex mirror Next is the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature of a spherical mirror is the radius of the hollow sphere of which the mirror is a part. So here this distance, the distance from C to P is the radius of curvature R. Next is the principal axis. It is the straight line passing through the center of curvature and the pole of a spherical mirror. So this straight line that you can see, this is your principal axis. The, the straight line that will pass through the center of curvature and also through the pole. We 
viewers please do not forget to subscribe to my channel it is a very new channel so please shower your love and blessings to my channel also do hit the like button and do let me know in the comment section which more chapters you want videos on